What's up everyone and welcome to part 2 of this series. So the first step in my case to getting this project started is to sand down my floor to bare concrete. I want to know exactly what I'm going to be dealing with so I'll have to remove all the deteriorated paint off. If your gouache floor is already free of any previous coatings then you might want to skip this step as to not waste any time and money. Me sanding my floor is just personal preference. Now before getting started I just want to give out a safety warning for those who aren't aware. When sanding down concrete, you want to wear an appropriate mask like this one. I just came back last week from doing a 3 hour course on all the nasty effects it has on your health to breathe in silica and trust me, for the cost of this project, a mask won't even show on the final build. I'll put a link in the description for the model mask I used. With that said, it's time to start sanding. I chose to use this type of grinder to sand my entire surface, which turned out to be a Bosch model number 1772-6. First off, make sure your grinder is unplugged. Then, you'll want to install the shroud first. Install it so that the exit port isn't on the same side as your handle. Once your shroud is installed, you'll need to block off the transmission by depressing the button at the top of the motor to be able to screw in your diamond cup. Right now would be a good time to put on your mask and hearing protection. Trust me, you'll be needing it. Once I was ready to sand, I started by connecting my shop vac to the grinder and began grinding the edge of the floor. Linear action for the edges is okay, but for the inner portion, I suggest doing so in little circles. You'll end up with a much more uniform result. As some of you may have noticed, I was left with an untouched section on the edge. This is due to the shroud preventing me from going all the way to the edge, and I'll show you how I remedied the situation later in the video. You'll notice your vacuum's poor performance after a short time. Since silica is so fine, it pretty much blocks all the air going through the filter when full. So you'll need to clean it out every now and then. I use my leaf blower to do this. So once my surface was manageable enough, we'll need to address those untouched edges I mentioned before. I was thinking of a way to get the paint off effortlessly, and I came up with this. Using a pressure washer worked miracles on getting the stubborn paint right off. This trick is perfect for getting into tight spots too. You could also use a 4.5 inch grinder with no shroud, but it would be a very tedious and messy operation. Plus, you'll be needing a pressure washer to clean your slab, so I suggest doing both steps the same day to keep the cost to a minimum if renting one. I was then ready to proceed on cleaning and degreasing the slab. I'll be making a separate part for this which will be part 3 of the series. So stay tuned as this step is critical if you intend on going any further into the project. As always, don't forget to click the thumbs up button below the video and if you're enjoying the series so far, subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates as soon as they come out. Until the next video, keep building!